Hi everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to English class. Today is Monday, April 13th. This is the Vision Church Level 2 English class and we are in Unit 7, page 90. Um, but before I get started with that lesson, I wanted to do a really quick review of the comparative and the superlative form of adjectives that we studied in the last lessons. Okay, so I'm going to, I sat down and I drew some little pictures here with some adjectives on it. And I want you to decide if you need the comparative or the superlative form of the adjective. Okay, this is three pictures of a cloudy sky. And the adjective is cloudy. So we got picture one, picture two, and picture three. And so cloudy, the question is, which sky is, and the adjective is cloudy, but we're comparing three skies. So do you want to use the superlative or the comparative? Yes, the superlative, because we're comparing more than two things. So the question would be, which sky is the cloudiest, right? Because it's superlative, we're comparing three things, the word cloudy ends in Y, and you add the and drop the Y and turn it to I-E-S-T. So which sky is the cloudiest? Very good. All right, second picture. Adjective is happy. You got two faces there. <laughs> which face is happy? Which face is happier? Which face is the happiest? Yes, that's right. Which face is happier? Because that is the comparative form of the adjective happy, and we're comparing two faces. Very good. Okay, next one. This is my really fancy artwork. Ooh, look at my beautiful flowers. Okay, question. Which flower is... Beautiful, which flower is more beautiful? Which flower is the most beautiful? Yes, which flower is the most beautiful? Because that's the superlative form of beautiful and we're comparing three flowers. Very good. Okay, and one more. There we go. We got three pencils here. Adjective is long. Which pencil is long? Which pencil is longer? Which pencil is the longest? Yep. We're comparing three pencils, so we need the superlative form of long, which is the longest. And the answer to that question is pencil number one, right? <laughs> yep, that is correct. All right, awesome. So that's our quick review of superlatives. If you missed any of those, the rules for the comparative form of adjective is page 86, and the rules for the superlatives is page 88. And it gives just a few examples. So if you want to see more, especially the um, irregular adjectives, just Google. Go to Google. I found um, a list, a really good list um, yesterday. Just Google um, the comparative form of adjectives, the superlative form of adjectives, and then also Google irregular adjectives so that you will see the ones where the word is different, like good. The comparative is better. It's not gooder. And the superlative is best and not goodest. So you need to just know those and memorize them. So that'll be a good exercise for you to do. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move on to page 90. And our, our student book, so go ahead and pull those out and get your notebook so you can take notes. We're going to start in lesson D. And in this lesson, we're going to read and understand a newspaper article. We're going to guess the meaning of new words. And we're going to learn vocabulary for furniture. All right. Let's get ready. All right, so one more thing we're going to review is from page 85, 
And that's just a little culture note about um, furniture stores since we are talking about shopping in this unit. And so I'll just read that for you. It says, some stores in the U.S. sell furniture and appliances that are not new. They are called secondhand, thrift, or consignment stores. And the prices are the cheapest at these stores. Okay? And so, and there are lots of, um, of those type stores in our area out here in Gwinnett County. Some of the ones that I like to visit are Salvation Army, Goodwill, St. Vincent de Paul, which is a thrift store like two doors down from um, the Vision Church where we normally have our classes. Um, and there are quite a few around the Atlanta area. And so they're, they're a good place to shop if you are looking for um, cheap prices and you're okay if it's used because you can find some used things that are in very, very good condition. Okay, all right. So we are on page 90, so let's look at page 90. Lesson D, reading. Look at the picture on page 90. Who is the woman? Now that looks like the woman from the beginning of this unit of shopping. If you look back on page 84, that's Denise. She's the couple that's talking to the sales guy. Okay? And so who is the woman? And then number two says, what did she buy? Oh my goodness. Looks like she talked her husband into buying that piano, didn't she? <laughs> oh, how funny is that? Okay. So she bought a piano. Very good. All right. So exercise two. It says, read the newspaper article, listen and read again. So you can just listen to me read it. And then we're going to answer some questions, okay? So read along with me. Today's question. What's the best thing you ever bought? The best thing I ever bought was an old piano. I bought it in a used furniture store last month. It was the most beautiful piano in the store, but it was very expensive. It has a beautiful sound. Now my two children are taking piano lessons. I love to hear the music in the house. I bought a used van five years ago. I used my van to help people move and to deliver sto stoves and refrigerators from a secondhand appliance store. I made a lot of money with that van. I have my own business. That van is the best thing I ever bought. Sammy Chin, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Okay. All right. And so there's a little note there at the bottom. It says, guess the meaning of new words from other words nearby. Like, piano and music. So if you didn't know, let's say, um, well, I think you probably know all the words in these particular newspaper articles. Okay. A really good example of words, nearby words that can help you figure out what words mean. Let's look at that second article where he says, um, I use my van to help people move and to deliver stoves and refrigerators from a secondhand appliance store. Now, stove and refrigerators can help you figure out what the word appliance mean, right? Those, they're nearby words. So if you didn't know what the word appliance meant, 
that sent those words stoves and refrigerators from a secondhand appliance store, you can figure out what an appliance is because stove and refrigerators are nearby words that are associated with the word appliance. Okay, and there's all that as you continue reading articles and things, you will see that again and again where you can figure out the meaning of one word by looking at another word. So exercise three, it says, after you read, answer the questions about the article and write complete sentences. So let's do the first one together. And then I'm going to pause so that you can complete two through six on your own. And then I'll come back and go over it. Okay. All right. Number one. What question are Denise and Sammy answering? So we've got these two newspaper articles here. And one is written by Denise Robinson. You can see her name at the bottom. And the other is written by Sammy Chin. Okay, what question are Denise and Sammy answering? They are answering the question, What's the best thing you ever bought? Very good. So they answered the question as a complete sentence. And that's what we want to always try to do. So I'm going to pause the video. And you take just a few minutes to complete those on your own. And then start, hit the play button and start the video when you're done. Okay. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. Okay, so I hope you had an opportunity to answer questions two through six. So we're going to go over it together. And um, you, if you need it and need to hear it again, you could play the audio and listen again. Okay, so let's do number two. The question is, what did Sammy buy? Sammy bought a used van. Okay, so that's answering the question as a complete sentence. All right, number three. Who is taking piano lessons? Denise's two children are taking piano lessons. Okay, number four. Who has a business? Sammy has a business. And that's next to the last sentence in his um, newspaper article that he wrote. You see that where it says, now I have my own business. All right. So having your own business is the same as being self-employed. So if you've never heard that term before, if you have your own business, you are self employed because you know when you work for someone you are an employee and when other people work for you you are the employer and when you work for yourself you are self-employed all right, so let's keep it moving to number five. No, number four. No, nope, it is number five. Okay, sorry. Number five. What words in the reading help you understand the word appliances? And that's what I talked about a little bit earlier. And the answer to that question is the words stoves and refrigerators help you understand the word appliances. Now that is answering that question as a complete sentence because the answer has part of the question in it. All right, number six, did Sammy have a lot of money five years ago? Why do you think so? And the answer, no, <laughs> Sammy didn't have a lot of money five years ago. He made a lot of money when he bought the van. Uh, okay, all right. So let's see. Let me make sure I covered everything. 
So what I would like you to do is think about that question. What's the best thing you ever bought? Um, the best thing I ever bought, I think, was my um, living room furniture. I bought it at a secondhand store. It's a really nice sectional sofa. I've had it for, gosh, like five or six years. And the sectional sofa that I have, I bought, I saw it in, I see it in furniture stores all the time. It's a big sectional. It usually costs about $1,500. And I got it at a secondhand store for $150. And it was in very good condition. I, like I said, I've had it for about seven years now and I love it. So I think that's the best thing I ever bought. So what I would like you to do is when you respond to this video, in the comment, put a complete sentence. Answer that question for me. Say, the best thing I ever bought was, because we're talking past tense, so you're going to say was instead of is. The best thing that I ever bought was. And tell me what that was. And that can be your response for this video, okay? I think that'd be really fun for me to hear, for me to be able to see, because if we were in class together, I would ask you that question and we'd talk about it. So. Yes, so respond to this video and answer that question, all right? All right, so let's keep it moving. All right, everyone, we're going to continue on with page 91. I think I hit restart on this video maybe a minute ago. I didn't realize I had already hit it. So I apologize if there is about a minute worth of me looking at the computer because I didn't realize I had already hit restart. Okay, so this video lesson thing, I'm still adjusting to it. Okay, all right, so we're going to start with page 91. And looking at that picture on page 91, we're talking about furniture in this lesson. And this is a picture dictionary. This picture right here. We've got a lot of uh, pictures of different furniture items in that picture. And we're going to label each of those furniture items in that picture. And you probably have all these items in your home. So what do you think this is a picture of? Do you think this is like a, a home for a large family? Maybe, but it looks like, you know, maybe a small apartment or um, probably a room or maybe um, someone's living room. Perhaps they have a guest that's staying over and they have the sofa bed pulled out. Okay, so this is an apartment or someone's living room. Um, and so who might live here? Could be it looks like a fairly small room because in that living room you see that the desk there's a desk and the computer also over there so usually if it's a large family home the computer and desk may be somewhere else so this is probably an apartment maybe a single person lives there or it's, you know some roommates um probably not a large family okay and so um so this is someone's apartment um so we're we've got a word bank there exercise a there's a word bank and we have to match the picture with the items in the word bank right so if we were together of course i would have you read this for me but i'm going to go ahead and read the words in the word bank and um it's aquarium bookcase coffee table computer desk, end table, entertainment center, mirror, recliner, and sofa bed. So what we're going to do, we want to match the words in the word bank with the picture. 
So this is a way for you to practice identifying furniture items. So you match the name with the furniture item, okay? All right, so I am at the 20 minute mark for this video. So I'm gonna continue this lesson in part two of today's video lessons, okay? Alrighty, so I'll see you in the next video.